Hello everyone, this is Sujata from Informatica GCS. Uh, today I will be explaining about the JDBC V2 connector which is introduced from uh, Informatica DEI 10.4 version. So I would be uh, explaining what is JDBC V2 adapter, the supported features in it, scoop versus JDBC V2, prerequisites to use JDBC V2 connection, the planned future enhancements and the known issues. So JDBC V2 adapter is an app SDK based and native Scala code for Spark engine. Uh, it is single connector across platform that is for on-premise and for cloud. Uh, it is known for easier maintenance. There are two certified databases uh, as of Informatica 10.4.x uh, which is uh, Postgres SQL and Azure SQL database. Uh, the other databases are uh, planned uh, in are in the roadmap. The supported engines for uh, JDBC V2 connection are native Spark and Databricks. Uh, so read and write partitioning is supported with a JDBC V2 connection. Uh, pre and post SQL can be specified. Filter and journal queries can be specified at JDBC V2 object level in the mapping. Push down support for filter. Uh, table name and schema name can be overridden. So in order to use the JDBC V2 connection, uh, we need to have this license bit which is called power exchange for JDBC V2. Uh, now let's understand what's the difference between scoop and JDBC v2 so uh, in if if uh, a job runs a scoop command which is scoop import or a scoop export a map reduce application is uh, launched for it but there is no such requirement uh, when using uh, a JDBC v2 connection uh, the execution happens within the uh, spark framework so scoop involves staging of data there is no staging of data involved when using a JDBC V2 connection. So uh, transformations are usually faster in Spark mode when compared to a MapReduce. So both these factors makes uh, JDBC V2 connection faster compared to a scoop connection. So except in cases of optimized scoop cases, JDBC V2 is usually 40% faster compared to scoop. Only in cases of optimized scoop, JDBC V2 is slower than uh, scoop by around 7 to 10 percent. Now, from Informatica perspective, uh, the prerequisites to use a JDBC V2 connector uh, is as below. So, you would have to download a JDBC Type 4 compliant database driver and uh, it has to be placed on the server machine. So if a JDBC V2 connection is used in a Spark mode, then the jar, the JDBC driver has to be placed at InfaHome Connectors third party Informatica JDBC V2 slash Spark. And if uh, the JDBC V2 connection is to be used in native engine, then it has to be placed under slash common. And on the client machine, it is also required to be placed because we would be testing the connection we would be importing JDBC v2 object so it has to be placed at uh, clients developer client connectors third party informatica JDBC v2 slash common uh, now let's go through the demo where I will be explain showing how to create a JDBC v2 or connection and how to use a JDBC v2 object how to create a JDBC v2 object so here is my developer tool. I go to window preferences and uh, then in the connections now I will be seeing a different uh, a, a separate type of connection which is called JDBC V2 that will be under databases. So you see here this is JDBC V2. So uh, in order to create a new connection I will say add. I already have created a connection for Postgres. So I'll just show you the properties here. So username password uh, as usual the schema name of the database the driver class name um, 
uh, the connection string has to be specified here and the database type so right now we are listing only two databases because these are the ones which we are certifying now if at all the user is using any other database like oracle or sql server uh, we would have to select others in that case so once this is done you can test the connection so this connection is valid for me so yeah this is how we create the connection now in order to use the jdbc v2 connection we would have to uh, we will see a separate uh, type of data object now so we'll say new data object and under the physical data object if we search with jdbc v2 we will see this connection type jdbc v2 data object so let's name it uh, and uh, we would have to uh, select the connection here so i select the connection i have created and then i would have to add the resource the resource is the table that i would want to add in my uh, gdbc v2 connection data object so uh, yeah it, this shows my connection and then it shows the schema here and then it lists the tables so you would have to click on the tables to see the list of tables here so uh, I select the table here and uh, then I say finish so this creates my object now I would have to create a read and a write object for it this is similar to any other application data object that we create so I click on new and then I see two types of uh, uh, capabilities here I can create a read object I can create a write object for the table that I have imported so let me create a read object and then it has to uh, it prompts me to select the table and I say finish so a read object is created now and then if I would want to add any properties uh, to the JDBC table I can do so over here so I can specify a, a join in a filter query custom query is right now not supported uh, I can specify uh, uh, override the connection here I can specify the pre and post SQL and I can specify override again the table name and the schema name over here so this is for the read object similarly I can create a write object also now once this is done I can uh, uh, for using uh, the object in my mapping I just have to drag the object here and uh, I would uh, I, I can then select uh, the object uh, uh, type that I would want to use it as like read or write object so I think I have not saved it that's why it's prompting me so let me save it and then again if I go here so this is my read object that I've created already write I have not created so it does not show me any operation but I can create one from here the write object So now I have the right object also. So yeah, if I want to use it as the source, I create as create it as a read object, and here is my uh, the table is imported in my mapping. So this is how we create a, a, a mapping with the JDBC V2 object. Now let me show the differences in the mapping log or the execution when we run the mapping with a, a scoop object and a JDBC V2 object. So this is my JDBC V2 mapping and this is my scoop mapping. So here I have a, map, uh, uh, a mapping with object using scoop. So it's important to understand the difference between uh, the execution for which uh, let me show a few snippets from the map, uh, mapping log. So uh, this is the mapping log for non JDBC V2 which is uh, uh, using a scoop connection so yeah so here I have a scoop uh, import command and uh, uh, a, a map reduce application is created for the same so this is the map reduce application and uh, yeah I have a scoop uh, import command here this is my scoop mapping and the scoop queries are uh, are executed here for which uh, I had showed uh, 
um, the MapReduce application getting created. Yeah, so these are the snippets from my scope uh, for my scope command. Now, uh, going to the mapping log for JDBC v2, there is no such separate command executed here in the mapping. So it simply go uh, compiles the mapping, uh, creates the execution plan, and submits that to the Spark engine. So here I only have one application ID, which is for my Spark application. Yeah. So that's all. So now let me go to the Spark application and show here the JDBC v2 connection established and the execution has happened. So. So uh, here is the JDBC query that that I see uh, within the Spark application itself. So uh, this is the uh, read query that is fired against the read object. Uh, I mean the source table and uh, uh, the metadata is fetched and also it is read. So this is just a part of my Spark application. Yeah, so but there is no separate uh, uh, application MapReduce application created for the JDBC v2 connection uh, the future enhancements planned for JDBC v2 connection um, are to support the JDB uh, the uh, update strategy uh, to support it uh, in a dynamic mapping and refresh schema create target with custom detail advanced SQL query and uh, certification to more databases uh, these are a uh, few references where you can always visit to understand more about J the JDBC v2 uh, connection. Uh, thank you for uh, your time. We would love to hear your feedback. You can write us at supportvideos at informatica.com and even you can post your queries at Twitter. Thank you.